What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Uh, we are really, really thrilled to have with us today Larry Campbell and Teresa Williams. Guys, thank you so much for coming and uh, playing some songs for us today. Thanks for having us, man. Um, the pleasure is all ours. Uh, we've been really, really loving uh, the new record by this duo. It's called Contraband Love. It came out in September, and we're excited to hear some songs from that record today. So uh, let's get started with some music. Tell me a little bit about the first song you're going to do for us today. Uh, we're going to do Turn Around, Carl Perkins' tune off his first record that um, uh, we put this on our record. Teresa had been singing this uh, with uh, the Ramble Band and with Levon, the Levon Band for most of the years we played with Levon. And, um, and in fact, he's playing drums on the track that we put on our record. He's Levon a, Helm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, when we were recording the Electric Dirt record, um, we had a day where we weren't sure of where we were going with that record, and he said, well, let's do a couple with you guys, and, and we did about five rhythm tracks, and, and this was one of the tunes, and, and uh, so we just finished it and put it on our record here. Excellent. Turn around. <laughs> Be far away. 
The crowd goes wild. All right. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. It's a beautiful song. Um, so, Larry, you were mentioning uh, as you went into it, uh, you know, to get in a little bit of the of your your backstory. Uh, you played for years, the both of you, with uh, with Levon Helm. You've also done a lot of work with Bob Dylan and maybe Staples and a long a long list. Uh, you have been you have added musicality and firepower to other artists for many many years. Uh, and you guys made a record, your first one, as a couple, as a as a duo in 2015. So you know, I was curious, what was it about that? point in history in your in your career why at, why at that point what was it that led you to sort of step out with a record that then yeah you know um i i think it has a lot to do with just organic evolution um so for you know i was with bob up until um the beginning the end of 04 and most of that time Teresa was touring um, doing uh, theater and um, we you know we loved singing together and we would do it casually and for fun like when, when she would come out and visit on the road with Bob we'd sit in the back of the bus and, just and when he would come out to the shows I was doing which was usually involved uh, a lot of them playing guitar or chinking a little on mandolin or yeah. you know stuff like that I think there was even maybe a dulcimer one which I don't anyway uh I was doing a lot of stuff uh, like Southern Writers Project and uh, suppose some old time music, and I would take jobs that maybe in places I wouldn't necessarily take jobs just to get to be with the local music because it would be mm -hmm. in like Southwest Virginia, some really good. You'd just go in to buy toothpaste, and you know somebody had to have an instrument out, and there'd be music, and before you know it, there'd be people dancing and the drugs. I mean, just you know yeah. that's Southwest Virginia and North Northeast Tennessee. And when Larry would come and visit me, it's same as like when I was out with them, we'd be on the back of the bus playing that kind of music. And when he would come and visit me, you know, like I said, I'd be buying a tube of toothpaste, and he'd be in the back room. Like jamming, <laughs> jamming with the guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so what was it about? You know, so you guys have been together for years, and you've had your own things. You've been together. You know, uh, you know, something led you to say, now, now is the time. We've got well, to make a record. So, so when we finally, when I finally left Bob's band, and Teresa had been done, had just finished a contract that she was doing at the time. To the Carter family. Yeah, and um, and we. Um, uh, this you know, Levon called and said, "I heard you left Bob. Come on up here and let's make some music." You know, and and um, and one thing just led to another, and it was a just it turned into this fantastic musical experience where Teresa and I were both involved in this great band, playing this great music, where we all got to be creative and participate and be up front and and um, and this went on you know for for the next uh, uh, six seven years and and um, and don't ever let it be said that that you know people say a gig's a gig and you know there's there's no small everything counts for something well we Levon called Larry a couple of weeks after you got off from Bob I think yeah and uh, and my contract had finished, I think, or was just about to finish with the, with the Carter family thing. And we went down and just did like a couple of songs or so with uh, some of the guys from Olabel. Remember the group mm -hmm. Olabel? Yeah. yeah. Were, would play on the Sunday nights at this place called the Bush Bar on the Lower East Side. And we just went and sat in and kind of did, you know, did two or three songs. And Amy was there that night and heard me sing with Larry. And subsequently, she because somebody asked how you know I ended up with Levon and, and that little gig. She saw me singing at that little gig, yeah. and called me. And Larry was euphoric because you know yeah. he couldn't like, <laughs> yeah, nepotism wasn't going to work. But yeah, Amy right. got me in, yeah. so uh, and, that, and, and then and then almost a decade with Levon yeah. from that little gig. Yeah, yeah, amazing. And all that stuff evolved and evolved, and then and by the time we unfortunately lost Levon, you know, Teresa and I had worked up a repertoire within that band, and we'd gotten much more in tune with what we could do as a duo, and um, and it Levon just, liked an ensemble. Yeah, and I think that made him he wanted everybody comfortable. to contribute. You know? right. And he, so, yeah, he expected you to bring full-on creativity, everybody, right. and. Uh, that was really and so freeing, he was sort liberating. of the, the catalyst in a way right. for, for this yeah. for this coming to yeah. what yeah. it is yeah. what it is now. Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. we were doing it informally for fun, but yeah. 
And then as a result of working with Levon too, we had, uh, you know, uh, we had these opportunities to, to be together and working with Phil Lesh and with uh, Yorma Jackson and Brown. Jack and, and Jackson Brown and, you know, and, um, and all this stuff just contributed to, to hone, uh, to us being able to hone what we can do as a, as a couple. And it was just time to do it. When, time to do when, it. When, um, when, you know, the, the ramble thing just came, you know, to uh, an unfortunate end, losing Levon, and it was just time for her and I to get out there and do yeah. this because it's because we love it, you know. Yeah, cool. So yeah. I'm interested in the. I want to hear about the the new record as well. But uh, why don't we go into another song first? Okay. Um, tell me about what this one is. It's also from the from the new record, I I think. Uh, yeah, this is a tune called "Save Me from Myself," um, which uh, you know we've all. Um, We've all been doing, uh, uh, we've all had points in our lives where we're, uh, you know, to, to greater or lesser degree where we're doing stuff we shouldn't be doing and, and trying to blame somebody else for it, you know, or, <laughs> or, or just not copping to it, you know, and, and uh, I mean, that's a sort of simplistic explanation of what this song is about, but. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to retrieve my pick here. Yeah. And I have to retune if you okay, want to tell yeah, another yeah. story, Larry. <laughs> this guitar doesn't like the cable. Yeah. Um, well, the song, the songs on the new record, uh, including this one, do have a little bit of a, a darker bent, I think, than the than the songs I heard on your on your first one from 2015. Right. Um, was there a, a deliberate, you know, effort to sort of go down no, a more it, serious it, road? It wasn't deliberate. Well, I think if anything was deliberate. On my part, it was an effort to try to reach a little deeper for lyrically and with subject matter, you know. And but it wasn't these. I think what came out was more a result of subconscious thought than conscious thought. Yeah, yeah. And um, um, you know, Teresa Teresa has brought up the point that. Uh, in the in the in the recent past we've we've watched a lot of friends dealing with addiction and their kids dealing with addiction and 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 just you know these events which triggered something in me remembering my experience with that and um you know and this is uh, again and uh, it w you know, you start, for me, when I'm writing a song, it's the melody first. I come up with a melody and or hear a melody or just want to, you know, okay. And then you got to find something to sing about or talk about or write about. And 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 maybe a phrase will come. And from that phrase, you start growing. And, and the phrases just seem to lead me more to this um, <laughs> darker corner of my yeah. life experience, you know. Stop. 
inside me And you I say you don't want somebody else Can you forgive me? Can you save me from myself? Guys, thank you so much. Yes, sir. So tell me, did you have to get an album sort of out of your system to arrive at these, you know, songs that were a little bit more maybe um, deeper in their their emotion or their subject matter? You know, to take one to sort of get to where you are now. I think as that's an, a, as yeah. an observer. I think that's probably true. I'm I'm not writing, but no, but that's a really him. good observation. That that I had, nobody's brought that up before, and I, I think um, I think you're right. Yeah, uh, this too for me is an evolution. You know, you, 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 the songs on the first record, I'm proud of every one of them, but they're they're. It's more lighthearted and yeah, and, right. and and um, you know uh, the ly lyrically they're more just about I wanted to get this music out there and 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 something fun and clever to write about or 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 you know uh, or you know I mean there's heartache on there too but it's but it's of a certain a um, little removed yeah, from you yeah 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 Part right. yeah and and. Uh, and, and I think this one, you know, the songwriters, the lyric writers that I really admire, they go deep, you know, they're talking, they're, they're, they're putting their guts on the table. Right. And, it's, and in, in a lot of cases, I think probably like in an effortless sort of way, right. they don't have to sit down and say, okay, I'm going to write something deep from my gut. That's exactly it right. Just it just sort of comes out of their right. head that way. Yes. And, and, um, and that's. That was a pursuit of mine, you know, to just just be honest and. and, and uh, That's scary. Going yeah. honest. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and um, you know, and I'm I'm hoping these songs are are broader and deeper than what I've written before, and and I'm hoping that the next batch of songs I write are even broader. And yeah. Well, that was sort of my next my yeah. next question is, you know, who knows what comes out on the on the third record? You yeah. Know? Uh, right. It'll be yeah. too honest. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's lyric writing is it's difficult. Yeah. Is that something? So I mean, you you know you've been known as a, a, a you know a guitar player, and you have added that great sort of instrumental. Uh, talent and you know a certain sound to all these artists has lyric writing always been something that you did or something no. that you are sort of learning as you learning as i go as yeah go? i mean i i you had a beautiful song when we were i mean that you had written before i met you called down on my knees that's on the last that's record on right the first record yeah 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 uh, that was deep and that was gorgeous uh, yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it from my dating era view of it. <laughs> yeah, um, um, yeah, but, but you know, it's uh, I'm I'm not in love with words the way I am in love the visceral way I am in love with music. Yeah, but I really respect great lyric writing, and yeah. I'm in love with words, yeah. Yeah. and I don't write yet. Because, I don't know, I mean, that honest and thing that you're talking about, that's so scary. Yeah, it's hard to do also. So scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, Words are powerful, man. Yeah, Words man, well, are powerful. But, you know, I mean, I think for a, lot of, for a lot of music listeners, if a song is great, if the music is great, the lyrics sometimes can be, you can... You don't have you can to skate a little bit, but you know. But if the lyrics in a song are amazing, but the music isn't there, it doesn't really work as well. That's maybe ooh, in, my, in my experience. Ooh, I, don't I don't know if know. I'm no? ready. To, I think you may be right, and I really hate that. That might be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like a good. I like a good lyric. I'll I'll let the music go along. Well, the way best music, of course, if is the lyric is good. That combines both 
you know, of course, great right. elements from from both. Of course, what um, what I find is it takes me. If I'm going to listen to a song again after I've heard it the first time, it's got to be because of the music of it, and that's what that's what makes me want to go back to listen to it. And right. then it'll be four or five times that I've listened through it that I start to pay Hear attention. Wow, that's I'm being so said. the yeah. opposite. And she's exactly. Yeah, the I'm more like I'm more like I'm more like you, uh, Larry, where I can listen to a song many, 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 many times and never really learn the words. Come on. I just you know the yeah. phonetic sounds <laughs> right, yes. that the that the words make, and I sing along because I'm. It's the melody and the music that I'm really attached to. But you know, here we are at a, a music magazine, so I will I will stand up for the the, the power and beauty. But of the it lyrics is a magazine. Well. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. We are writers and editors, so don't sleep on the words. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, you guys are gonna do another one uh, from Contraband Love. Sure. Tell me a little bit about the next one you're gonna do. Um, so uh, I've been saying this live a lot lately that, um, and I guess this is, I don't know, you know, I, again, I, this song just sort of came out, and, but it seems relevant to me in that, you know, a lot of weird stuff going on out there these <laughs> days, you yeah, know, a lot of yeah. like undigestible or uncomprehensible uh, uh, <clears throat> um uh, string of events, I guess you'd call it, and um, uh, and and I just, you know, without delving deep into it, I just kept thinking, you know, if we, if we all, if, if uh, only defense against this, we all just hang together. Everybody pay attention to each other. Everybody listen to music together. Everybody put their arms around each other. Everybody, as I say, listen to the angels playing their harps. You know, and 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 uh, we'll get through this thing. Because that's who we are, you know. We will get through this, um, uh, and and everything's gonna be cool. But uh, in the meantime, it ain't gonna be a good night. <laughs>
Guys, thank you. That was great. A pleasure. Yeah, amazing playing, thank which you. is, to go back to what we were saying, you know, that's the, that's the gold. Right? You know? <laughs> I mean, incredible, incredible, uh, incredible instrumentation, uh, you know, which is really a pleasure to hear. Thank you. Um, and, you know, and also you're right. It's not going to be a good night. <laughs> and it's getting earlier and earlier now, the night. You know? It's dark. Yes, it's it dark is. already. It's, only, it's not even 5 o'clock, and it's, and it's dark. Um, so, uh, you know, the record is Contraband Love. I'm not sure if you guys maybe have a, a fourth song you'd like to do for us from the record or any, or any song you'd like to play. Uh, we would love to hear it, if so. Yeah. Um... um. Yeah, we can do, um, uh, we'll do this one. We, uh, I had the honor of co-writing with William Bell. Mm -hmm. who, um, William was the first male soul singer to be signed to Stax Records in 1961. And, uh, and um, you know, just a great guy. And he, um, he played with us with the Ramble Band a couple of times. And... Um, Wrote "Born Under a Bad Sign," you know, and you don't really? hit your water till your well runs dry, and uh, wrote a bunch of stuff for uh, that Otis Redding recorded, and a bunch of other, you know, and, and he had his own, um, he had his own career, and and, uh, and just he won a Grammy last year for his first record in, in quite a few years, you know, and and. Uh, and uh, We, we we got about I guess about three songs that we co-wrote together so far and I hope there's more and this was this one I had I had the music and some of the lyrics and and he just helped me finish the lyrics on this it's called when I stop loving you Heaven knows I've been forgetful Lately my mind can't get no rest And if it seems I've been neglectful I'm just tired and I ain't been at my bed I know you've been missing my affection Making you think I want to move on You're worried I'm looking in a new direction But this is what you'll see before I'm gone Baby, the sun won't rise The moon won't appear And the stars will Hours and days go 
by so fast Precious time I know I should be giving To the one thing I always knew could last Baby, the sun won't rise The moon won't appear And the stars will fall When I stop loving you When I Somebody will close my eyes And I'm gonna hear the angels call When I stop loving you And my You know I got to find a way to give you strength and make you secure. Please, darling, hold on. Our love will endure. Baby, the sun won't rise. The moon won't appear. And the stars And my heart will be no more My heart will be no more Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, man. Um, so this is Larry Campbell and Teresa Williams. Uh, you guys, the new record is Contraband Love. It's a beautiful album. Uh, there is, there's a, I should say, there's a, there's a rock element also, a full band element to this record yeah. that people should know about. Um, it is not just two voices and two guitars, although this is the, this is the foundation of the, of the record and the music that you make, I think. Fair to there's, say. there's no song on it that's just two guitars, right? No, it's all yeah. full on band. Full on band. But it's it's a variety of music. I mean, we have everything from Bessie Smith to Carl Perkins to like a real rocker, a couple of rockers that Larry get, bears down on, and yeah, yeah and that's it's what a, I think. It's a, and that's part of you know the pleasure of this is that you don't have to pick a genre. <laughs> yeah, right. You can just do what you like. Yeah, and uh, that's, I think, the show that people see. So you guys are on tour right now with Sean Colvin. Yeah. Uh, and uh, everyone can go to LarryandTeresa.com to find the dates uh, of that tour and see them in their, in their full band, Rockin', rockin Glory. Uh, but we so appreciate you guys coming and, and playing uh, in this sort of this intimate setting for us, these That's beautiful great. songs. Thanks for having us. Great, yeah. great to be here, it, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much for coming to Paste, and uh, congrats on the record. Thank you. And come back anytime and play for us Will again, do all right? It. And keep Paste going, man. That's all right, all. we're trying. All right. <laughs>